have you any doubt this evolutionary process Going through with it, Martin. Clear everything. Should I scroll it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's clear. Yes, okay. Okay, great. Then again, now the classification of algae, right? So, Martin, what is most important thing? This table is very important, right? This table part. So, what is the purpose of mucilage? The purpose of mucilage is to keep algae wet, right? Protect it from dehydration, right? Keep it wet and moist so that it do not dry up, right? So that is the purpose behind it. So what is the question for you? This table is question for you, right? This is very important. Look, which is the most advanced algae out of all these three algae? Keep on telling me, Martin, because I have taught you. Which one is the most advanced algae? Like we have three kinds of the algae. Chlorophyce, Rhodophyce, and Pheophyce. Right. So we have classified algae in three categories. Chlorophyce means green algae. Pheophyce means brown algae. And Rhodophyce means red algae. So we have classified algae into three classes. Right. Now, <clears throat> out of these three classes, which is the most advanced algae? Tell me. Martin. And which is the answer? Rhodophyce. Rhodophyce is the most advanced one. No, Martin. This is the chlorophyce, which is the most advanced one. Green algae. Yeah, I Fine. said chlorophyce. Oh, you said chlorophyce. Then it's correct. I heard uh, rhodophyce. Look, why chlorophyce is the most advanced one? Tell me. Green algae. Because uh, it is green in color. Look, nowadays in angiosperm, they are the most modern kind of the plant. So angiosperm, they have chlorophyll B. It means chlorophyll B is the one of the most advanced chlorophyll. Chlorophyll B is found only in green algae, not in other algae, right? So it have the advanced chlorophyll. And sexual reproduction is very advanced. That's why chlorophyce is very advanced algae, right? Look. The first algae which appear on the it was the rhodophyce, red algae. Now, what you need to remember, the chlorophyll A and D is found, right? That is question. So it have chlorophyll A and D, and phycoerythrin give the red color, right? Phycoerythrin is red color, right? So which provide red color? That you need to remember. That is also a question. The next thing that brown algae, it have chlorophyll A and C. Pucoxanthin is also found. Pucoxanthin impart brown color to the brown egg. Again, chlorophyll A and B are found in the chlorophyce. In chlorophyce, what will be the question for you in medical examination? In chlorophyce, most of the time they ask you the shape of chloroplast. That I will tell you. Like you can see in Spirogyra, it's a green algae and the shape of chloroplast is a ribbon shaped chloroplast. Right. So that is the question, that sort of the question I've been asked for. The second thing that food is stored in the form of pyranoid. What will be the food in these algae? This is the second most important question, right? So look, in chlorophyce, the stored food will be starch, right? In pheophyce, manintol and laminarin will be the stored. Both are the carbohydrates. Again, in rhodophyce, Chloridian starch will be the 
breather. Now it comes to the cell wall. This is also very important. These all the major pigments store food and cell wall. So here the composition of cell wall is given. In chlorophyce, they won't ask you because in chlorophyce the cell wall is made up of cellulose. But pheophyce and rhodophyce is important. In pheophyce, cellulose and algin. Algin is important component. What is actually algin? Look, the jelly are made from algin. The cover of capsule which you take as a medicine, the cover of capsule when you eat a capsule, when it get wet, it get dissolved inside your stomach or in your sometime in your mouth also. Right. So that is basically made up of algae. Rhodophyce means red algae, they have cellulose and pectin. Right. Pectin is important. Pectin is hard substance, that's why their substance is rough. <clears throat> so these were the important questions, right? Which was which were important. Uh, for the medical exam. Clear? Yes, sir. Now, algae, this is the representative structure of algae, chlamydomonas. They have cup shaped chloroplast, right? So, body is organized into thallus. I have already told you that what is the thallus. And uh, body is not divided into stem. That is, that, that is meant for the thallus. Thallus means body is not divided into them, root and leaves. Then no conductive tissue are found. That means xylem and phloem are absent. Uh, no mechanical tissue means there is no woody tissue. <coughs> no seed, root or flower are found. Right, that is also important. Food is a stored a structure called paranoid. We have discussed that. Reproduction is both sexual as well as asexual. That was all about the algae. Now. Uh, One more very important thing which can be medical question. No medical question. Right. So, first fact is that uh, grana are absent in chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay, yeah. Chloroplast do not have grana. Grana, is it clear to you, Martin? Remember or not? Yeah. Okay. So this is this was a uh, important question. And uh, embryo stage is absent. That is also a question which I've been asked. Embryo stage is absent in algae. What does it mean? That is. Embryo formation will not take place. Take place. Zygote will divide and form the plant body. Okay, Martin. So, embryo will not be formed. Zygote will itself divide and form the main body. Clear? So, these were the important questions. And uh, economic importance uh, that we will discuss one by one. One more important thing, nearly 50% carbon dioxide is fixed by algae. So algae fix approximately 50% of the carbon dioxide, right? Of whole earth, of the world.
whole world. Right. And uh, now we'll start one by one. So these were the important. Note it down, Martin. These extra facts. Yes, Martin. Did you note down? Yeah, yeah, I wrote down and let you. Okay. Then come to the green algae. We'll discuss one by one. <coughs> so, what is the function of eye spot or stigma? I will ask you only question part. Function of eye spot and stigma. Tell me. Come on, Martin. Tell me, we have discussed that. How can you, how can you forget that? Look. The first thing is that Clemidomonas have cup-shaped chloroplasts. That you need to note it down. Don't forget. Look. They have photosensitive structure called eye spot, which provide them sense of light. Right, they sense the light with the help of this eye spot or stigma. Please note it down. Martin, please note down. Yeah, this whole image. eye spot or stigma. Eye oh, spot. Okay, yeah. it is written over here. This one. Where? Here, here, here. Look, this look my pointer. Did you show my pointer? pointer? No. Oh, come on. Is it visible now? This cursor? Yeah, yeah now it's visible. Okay. This one. This eye spot. Got it? Okay. Photosensitive yeah. structure or stigma. Right? Okay. So, please note down. Eye spot or stigma is a photosensitive structure photo sensitive structure provide the sense of light to alga full stop provide sense of, of light to alga please note down uh, one more line along with this point the same point And when light is there, when light is there, the reaches at the surface the light of the face, is. when light is there, when light is there, the reaches at the surface of lake, full stop, in app, at when light is there, they reaches at the surface of lake. Of what? Surface of lake, lake, L-A-K-E, lake. Surface of lake, full stop. In absence of light, in absence of light, they sink down. Okay, so again, the mostly aquatic, some of their, some of them may be marine or freshwater. They have thallus-like body, means no stem, leaves or root. Body is covered in mucilage, so it prevents dehydration. Vascular tissues like xylem and phloem are absent. Mechanical tissues are absent, and plant body is flexible. They are photosynthetic, and grana are absent, chloroplast. Asexual and sexual reproduction is found. 
and embryonic stage is absent. Economic importance. So economic importance I have already discussed that this spiral lab, both of the both of the uh, example have been asked in a question. That's why I have made a star over here. Chlorella is a uh, uh, it purifies the gases. So and it is used in serious treatment plant. The spirula is a food supplement. It is called superfood. So it is also known as a space. Both are the chlorella and spiral uh, spirula. Both are called space energy. Why? Because in a space, the tablet of chlorella, chlorella are used for the uh, nutrition, and the spirulina is used as a food supplement. Cephalurus. This question has been asked multiple times. <clears throat> Cephalurus is a parasitic green algae. Please remember, Cephalurus is a parasitic green algae. It causes a rust disease of tea and coffee. It means it destroys the tea and coffee crop. Spirogoira is known as the water cell, right? And it is responsible for algal bloom in lake. Like it destroys the lake. Clear? Yes. So let me see if any question left. Now, uh, some medical point. These were also medical point. Medical fact. Or question. Look. Uh, some green algae are green algae are symbiotic with with plant or animal what is symbiotic relationship or symbiosis martin what is symbiotic relationship or symbiosis it's like it's depending on an organism Sorry, depending on organism, like a living host. My, I mean, what is the symbiotic relationship? How you will define it? What is symbiosis? Like in uh, leeches, you know, like they derive nutrition from other organisms. Look by not killing them. Yeah, right. Uh, symbiotic relationship. When you both are helping each other, none is getting harmed. That is simple. Simple. We are helping each other. Neither you are harming to me nor I am harming to you. I am getting you benefited. You are getting me benefited. Right. So that is called symbiotic listening. When we, we both are helping hand, right? We both when we both are friend, we both are helping hand. That is called symbiotic listening. So there are some symbiotic symbiotic algae. These are the question, and uh, they are very important. In fact, so please write it down right so do chlorella there is a green algae green algae and plant or animal or plant right the symbiotic list so first is do chlorella Do chlorella is green algae. It has symbiotic relationship with sponges. How? It remains with the sponges. It provides oxygen to sponges. It, it, uh, and in return, it gets uh, nitrogenous waste product from the sponges. So both are helping each other. Second one is uh, cladophora. Cladophora is a green algae that is found on the shell of mollusca, right? Mollusca, right? And uh, so that is that's it. Remember these two. 
blue chlorella and s4 both have been asked both are important and uh, rest of the facts are there i spot i have told you uh, uh, cellulose cell wall is spot that you know and uh, So red is snow. There is one phenomenon. Red is snow. So snow become of red color. Red is snow. Red is snow is uh, caused by by Clematomonas nivalis. They grow on. Uh, snow and they give red appearance to the snow nivalis that is red snow this is important and uh, coenibium i have already told you that the colony of this one we have already discussed that uh, volvox have a colony this is colony of volvox and uh, this is a ball like structure where uh, further colonies are being made so these are daughter colony one two these are daughter colony and it's a big colony right so colony of volvox may have 5500 to 60000 cells right and this structure is called coenobium it is written over here coenobium right so that question has been asked so number of the cells how many number of the cell can be in a coenobium so 500 to 60000 that we have already discussed right and uh, what else pyrogyra that causes the pond discum or water cell that pyrogyra it's also green algae Spirogyra. It causes algal bloom. Do you know what is algal bloom, Martin? Yeah. What? Algal bloom. Aware with this? No. Okay, great. And uh, algal bloom or pond is come. So that green green color uh, weed which is uh, uh, extracted from the pond and swimming pool that is this green algae. Antibiotic chlorella. Antibiotic extracted from the algae. Antibiotic extracted from the algae. Right. And Cephalorus, I have already told you that this is very important question. Chlorella that causes the such. So these are all questions. Note it down. Okay, Martin, done. Done, Martin. Martin, did you note it down? No, 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 no. Okay. Brown algae. So what we extract from brown algae, that is the most frequently asked question. 
so they are known as the kelp or seaweed they are the giant algae and uh, they have chlorophyll a and c pupils and thin provide brown color i have already told you that this is important fact the pupils and thin give brown appearance given the question i have been asked uh, majority of them are marine unicellular forms are absent that question i think beautiful microcystis is the largest it may be up to 100 meter this question i think which is the largest algae so microcystis may be 40 to 100 meter in length nereocystis may be 20 to 30 meter thallus is divided into whole fast stipe and bill they often fossils air air vesicles or bladder which provide them biology both sexual as well as a sexual reproduction is found a laminaria this question happen this is also important iodine and bromine it is extracted from an algae called brown algae that is laminaria right so we extract <coughs> there are some phycocolloids right so now again come to the medical question medical fact or question so iodine laminarin again alginic acid alginic acid is extracted from extracted from laminaria and microcystis <coughs> and uh, that's nothing more important the rest of the thing we have already covered over it okay right so yeah we have covered that all so that but that you need to remember so some economic importance are more important it already look uh chlorophyll chlorophyll a phycobilin phycoerythrin which provide the red color most ancient group of the algae most species of marine few are freshwater motile flagellate plates are absent uh cell wall have cellulose and pectin compound that we discussed sexual reproduction is present bromine extracted from very very important bromine extracted from polycyclic agar extracted from uranium and funerary is a type of blue it is extracted from cone rust right so that you need to remember it is very very important right this economic importance is very bromine yes bromine we did agar and sara green one more thing sara green one sara green it is extracted from uh 
போன்ற போன்ற and where it is used used in cleaning liquor cleaning liquor right so <coughs> that is all about the algae yes tell me martin is that clear to you yeah so basically the question what kind of a question has came the question which have been asked uh, uh, martin basically they are either exceptions or or they are the most important uh, kind of the uh, uses or economic importance so mostly the question came in algae so all those economic importance give me just one minute all those economic importance have been asked as a question which we have discussed let me write it down just wait for one minute is very important uh, and uh, give me one second martin i want to note it down something and uh, perfect 
dos, tres. Cuatro, cero. Cuatro, cero. Look, this is the green algae. These are the green algae, and this is the shape of chloroplast. Please add on this one as well. Okay. And uh, Clematomonas. That is up. Look, uh, let me repeat it again. Eulothrix, it have cup shaped chloroplast. Spirogyra have ribbon shaped chloroplast. Udogonium have network shape. Means network shape means reticulate. Reticulate means like net. Uh, Cladophora have reticular means same. Zygnemia have star shape. Uh, Clavidomonas have cup shape. Please note it down. Then the algae will, algae will become. Done, Martin. No down this. I'm sure I Yeah, that's done. Uh, now come to the bryophyte. Bryophyte, most of the things you'll get very less question from bryophyte. So again, it's a rixia. It's a representative of bryophyte. So scales are there, and uh, <coughs> gametophyte is main plant body. The sporophyte are parasite on gametophyte. That is important question, right? So the sporophyte produces uh, uh, produces spore, and it is parasite on gametophyte. So this point is very important. This point is 
very very important they take nutrition from the gametophyte rhizoids root like structure what is dorsi ventral dorsal surface upper ventral surface lower bryophyte are amphibian of plant kingdom right gametophyte be a male and female gamete both fuses and uh, <coughs> they make zygote zygote germinate and give rise to sporophyte right general characteristic plants are small roots are absent so rhizoids are there very very important question rhizoids can be unicellular or multicellular that question have been asked so rhizoids or bryophyte can be unicellular only union multicellular both multicellular only that kind of the question none of above uh, vegetative reproduction takes place through fragmentation gamete and buds sex organs are multicellular dendritium and archegonium this is the structure of dendritium this is the structure of archegonium right again archegonium have neck neck canal cell venter and venter canal cell whose core <laughs> no vascular bundle is found no mechanical tissues are found right so they are the common characteristic you will get a question from here basically from this one from mosses right but i'll repeat everything uh bryophyte can be of two type liverwort and mosses liverwort have thallus like body and mosses have plant like body right uh now uh, dioecious and monoecious i know that we have already discussed dioecious where male and female plant are uh, are in the same body monoecious male and female sex organ found in the, sorry uh, dioecious where the male and female uh, male and female plant are separate monoecious where male and female sex organ are found in the same plant so this is rickettsia and marchensia as example so this is marchensia marchensia male and female plant body are different different plant so main plant body is thallus like body main plant body is gametophyte we know on gametophyte there will be gamete so enthridia bond on the male plant archegonia bond on the female plant enthridia they are male reproductive body they bear sperm sperm swim and they reaches to the egg and archegonia they fertilize and they form uh, they form zygote zygote germinate and zygote form this sporophyte right uh, there are gametes you need to remember gametes are or gamma cup there are gamma cup gamma cup have gametes they are asexually reproducing body right gametes now come to the mosses example is funeria here you need to read. now this is monoecious monoecious means male and female sex organ are found on the same plant body look funeria hydrometrica is the example of this one you can see that this is the multicellular rhizoid stem there are two branches male branch and female branch male branch bear the male reproductive structure and cilia which will produce sperm and female branch that will be a the female reproductive stem right i arch you this is gametophytic body right uh sperm will fuse with the archegonia and it will make sporophyte a sporophyte will germinate on the gametophyte so you can see this one this part is called this part this part is called gametophyte and this upper part is called sporophyte you can see the sporophyte is divided into three groups food theta and capsule look this sporophyte is like this it have this kind of the structure this is structure is called food this is called theta and on the theta there is a capsule this one so this is food that is theta and this is called capsule right so this food part it suck the nutrition right it take nutrition it take nutrition from gametophyte so it take nutrition from gametophyte right and provide it capsule uh, is green when it is immature and brown when it ripe that is the question first question right 
what is the color of the capsule how does it change the color that is the very very important question uh, for neat examination right uh, now come to this this one this capsule part so capsule is a uh, the upper part most part of capsule is covered with a lid like structure called upper column right uh, upper column remains attached with this capsule with the help of some tissues and they are called annulus right annulus when annulus die capsule this upper column part come out and inside the upper column there are two rows of two or double rows of teeth right these teeth are called peristome right so there are double row of teeth peristome teeth and uh, teeth help in spreading of the spore first important question this shows hygroscopic movement hygroscopic means movement due to the moisture hygro hygro means moisture so hygroscopic means movement takes place due to moisture and that's how they move and due to movement the uh, spreading of spore takes place right so this was all about the capsule tell me is it clear or not yeah and this is important uh, is there any more some economic importance sphagnum is used in place of cotton in second world war very important i have discussed with you it absorb 18 to 26 times more water than its weight it have antibiotic property and peat coal is made up of sphagnum fossil right uh, so this was all about the bryophyte Done. Yes. Come to pteridophyte. Pteridophyte. Uh, they have two different type of the plant in their life cycle. Previously in bryophyte, the we have only single kind of the plant. Right. <coughs> Main plant body was uh, gametophyte. and sporophyte used to uh, grow on the gametophyte and used to take the nutrition right now you can see uh, this is the sporophyte a sporophyte they have a spring like structure for pedelet and uh, this is structure is called frond right frond uh, then the leaf which bear sporo sporo uh, sorry uh, the leaf which bear the spores are known as bud is sporophyll right so there are sporophyll leaves which bear the spores the spores are found in group in the lower surface of leaves and the group is called sporangia sorus this group is called sorus and single structure is called sporangia sporangia Inside sporangia, reduction division or meiosis takes place, and formation of haploid spore takes place. These haploid spores they spread, they germinate, and after germination they form another plant body. Try to understand. They form another plant body which is called gametophyte. Right. So here sporophyte and gametophyte both are different. Here sporophyte is independent plant body, and it is not parasitic. It is making its own food. Right. And gametophyte is different plant body. it is making it its own food but in the uh, bryophyte the sporophyte was parasitic on gametophyte this is green photosynthetic so this is gametophyte means gamete gameto means gamete and phyte means bearing plant right so it have enthridia and archegonia enthridia releases sperm archegonia have egg both fertilize after fertilization zygote are formed zygote develop on gametophyte and it make a sporophyte that's how the life cycle goes on. clear clear martin yes i uh, basically this fiddle head are used as a uh, vegetable in uh, mountains this fiddle head is spring point uh plant contain vascular bundle xylem and fern and they are called steel first important thing 
so what is the steel steel is nothing but vascular bundle they are found in here gametophyte and sporophyte live independently that we have discussed embryo stage is again absent you need to remember and embryo was absent in algae embryo was absent in bryophyte embryo is also absent here gametophyte seeds are not found so they are called asperma aspermatophyte leaves which bear sporangia are called sporophyll sperms are bi or multiplagellate they require film of water to swim right. economic importance marshelia is called water fur azola is uh, nitrogen it is also a water fur it is nitrogen fixing plant and used as a bio fertilizer right So these were economic importance, and uh, let me check. Pregnum we have discussed. Zero to five. Azula is a bio fertilizer that is important. It is important. The question I get. Marshelia is water for that as I have. One more important thing: adiantum. Adiantum is called madden hair. Madden hair. Fern. Uh, one more salvia. Salvia is water for. It is found in water. For. It is called sour of Kashmir. Sour of Kashmir. Right. So this was all about the. Uh, <coughs> Go through with it. Tell me, not it clear or not? Yeah, clear, sir. Okay. Gymnosperm. Gymnosperm. Uh, Cycus is called living fossil. We have already discussed that. I have told you, and revising again. Cycus is called living fossil, and uh, Male and female cone are different. Uh, you need to remember corolloid root. Cycus, uh, living fossil that have been asked. Corolloid root is very important. This one. Carolloid root, they are called caroline root or corolloid root. Uh, this corolloid root have symbiotic bacteria, blue green algae, that fix nitrogen. Okay. So they are nitrogen fixing algae. They are found in cycus. Cycus. Male and female plant are different, but in minus male alpha and female plant are the same. And uh, male cone are found on the male branches, female cone on the female branches. General characteristics: the seeds are naked, and seeds are covered, but they are not covered. 
represented by 900 species they are perennial largest gymnosperm is sequoia sempervirens that question i've been asked recently sequoia sempervirens it is a type of gymnosperm this is the tallest gymnosperm with 111.6 meter height the smallest gymnosperm is jamia pygmaea 26 centimeters right both you need to remember both have been asked as a question let me make this one seed contain endosperm so they are seeds are called endospermic or albuminous Albinus. The sperms uh, of cycas are the largest biological word. It is 300 micrometer in length. That is a question. Ovule is largest in the biological world. This is 6 to 7 centimeter in diameter. Can be seen by naked eye. And ephedrine is a drug extracted from a uh, gymnosperm called ephedra. Right. So those were important questions in gymnosperm. Uh, Gingo biloba. Gingo biloba. So look, uh, Cycas is called living fossil. Gingo biloba is also known as the living fossil. Right? Called living fossil. Cycas is also known as living fossil. Let me write on the same point. Cycas is also known as the living fossil. If it print, that's it that I have told you. Okay. So this was all about the gymnosperm. Tell me. What is clear? Yes. Okay. And just yes, Nothing much more in angiosperm. There is nothing much more important that we are studying in regular class. That is the uh, morphological characteristics. So we will study more than this, which is given over here. Uh, but you need to remember some point that Eucalyptus raginus is the largest plant. It is 114 meter high, and Wolfia is the smallest in this. That you need to remember. Second, Jim, uh, angiosperms appeared 130 million years ago. On the earth. double fertilization and all that. So, alternation of generation, you won't get that question from here. But you can go through with the previous year question paper. Look, pick the odd one. What will be the answer? Tell me, what is what to be the answer? Uh, C. C. What about cycus? Diocese or monoecious? Male and female plant Amosia. are separate. Conifers are adapted to tolerate extreme environment condition because of Tell me. Yeah, it's uh, Yeah, very good. 
थर्ड वन डी 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 ठीक हो राइट वेरी गुड दिस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्लांट फॉर्मेशन सीड फॉर्मेशन सीड फॉर्म जस्ट वी हैव स्टडी a a very good excellent this is the incorrect statement isogametes are similar in structure function and behavior correct in oomycetes female gametes are smaller and motile while the male gametes are larger motile in oomycetes उटर What is common in three? Unaria, Draptoris, and Gingo. Gingo is gymnosperm. Draptoris and Unaria are pteridophytes. Independent sporophyte. Independent gametophyte. Well developed vascular tissue. C. This will be the answer. Right? Yeah. Yes. Seven. This is the common multicellular. Uh, oh, this question is wrong, Sanjay. Which of these are vascular cryptogam? Tell me. Gingo, citrus, marchensia, epiphytum. B is the answer, right? Yeah. Heterospores. C will be the answer. Right, so these were all some sample of the question, and we have completed the plan. Ask me if you have any doubt, Martin. That's it for the day. We have completed plan. <coughs> Hold on.